What's up, guys? Boy, Benny. Christianity is the most persecuted and institutionally biased against religion in all of the West, and it's not even close. In case you need any further evidence of this empirical fact, here you go. The kicker for the Kansas City Chiefs, a guy who's won them two Super Bowl championships, one of the best players in all of the NFL. His name is Harrison Butker. He is being canceled and doxxed and dragged all across the internet for simply espousing traditionalist Christian views. Backlash against Harrison Butker grows. NFL has now waded into the territory. So in the NFL, there's no shortage of rapists. There's no shortage of people who abuse their spouse, who leave their children, who have 10, 12 baby mamas. The NFL doesn't say anything against them, but against Harrison Butker talking about traditional family structure and values, the NFL immediately jumps in when Harrison Butker gave a speech to a Catholic college to speak his mind and to talk about Christian viewpoints. Yeah, it's really, really interesting, uh, the biases that are in place here. And uh, it's also kind of fascinating how f fragile everybody is on the left. Check this out. Demands, a demand that Kansas City Chief dismiss Harry Butcher for discriminatory remarks. <laughs> okay, first off, what are the remarks? What did this dude say? Let's have a listen. In the past few years that I have grown in courage to speak more boldly and directly, because as I mentioned earlier, I have leaned into my vocation as a husband and father and as a man. To the gentlemen here today, part of what plagues our society is this lie that has been told to you that men are not necessary in the home or in our communities. As men, we set the tone of the culture, and when that is absent, disorder, dysfunction, and chaos set in. This absence of men in the home is what plays a large role in the violence we see all around the nation. Yes. Other countries do not have nearly the same absentee father rates as we find here in the U.S. True. And a correlation could be made in their drastically lower violence rates as well. True. Be unapologetic in your masculinity, fighting against the cultural emasculation of men. Do hard things. Never settle for what is easy. You might have a talent that you don't necessarily enjoy, but if it glorifies God, maybe you should lean into that over something that you might think suits you better. Oh, uh, fathers should be home and present for their children. Men should embrace masculinity. That's what's getting everybody so freaked out about this speech. That's what's causing everybody to have apoplectic seizures overall, like overall of this. This is it. Presented without comment. Yeah, this is the Chad. This, you, you have become the Chad meme. Harrison Bucker went to a Catholic college and delivered a speech to Catholic graduates affirming Catherine, Catholic doctrine literally moved to tears when describing how much his wife means to him, called out and attacked the, the lies millions of young women have been told, lies that leave many, many lonely, stranded, and miserable and unfulfilled. Professional sports is full of criminals, domestic abusers, and men with half dozen children that they didn't raise. For the press to smear a brave, devout family man as an anti-Semitic sexist pig is disgusting. I stand with Harrison Butker. This is, this is what they're doing. They're calling that speech anti-Semitic. Like it's, like, it's like a catch-all slur. Of course, the feminists, the feminists, big mad over this. Telling men to be masculine. Telling women to be feminine. Telling women and, and men to embrace traditional roles in the family. The women as, as the nurturing mother and the, the man as the strong, masculine provider. The NFL has now condemned Harrison Butker for saying this. Yet the NFL kneeled and groveled to Colin Kaepernick. This is a trash league. This is a trash organization. You should not give your money to the NFL. I am disgusted that like church parking lots empty out on Sunday so that men can go watch the NFL. You should like stop stop paying the people who want your destruction. The change.org petition here uh, it has been signed by 180,000 people. For what? For what? Because the guy called for an embrace of masculinity. Uh, Jillian Anderson somebody that we know and have worked with, says, I worked in the NFL. It's a terrible culture. Harrison Butker is the last person who should be losing his job. Harrison Butker is fighting for women, and the left is too brainwashed to know what's good for them. Being a submissive wife honors God and raises children is an honor and a privilege. Even though I am proud of my career, nothing is more meaningful than being a mother, not even close. God's order is best, his intention, and his design. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there is no reason why everybody should be triggered over this speech. It is an awesome speech. Uh, he's a respectable man. Butker's out here uh, impregnating random women, partying every night, and cross-dressing. The NFL would fully support him. Most Americans are fed up and agree with Butker's comments. Raise your sons to be more like Harrison Butker. That's exactly right.
just one hell of a speech. Everyone seen Barstool Sports seems to be backing him up. And uh, I mean, he's getting a lot of love. Now, he's getting a lot of hate, too. Uh, but he's been saying this kind of stuff for a long time, right? Get married and start a family. Harrison Butker has been uh, up and out, like, talking like this for quite a while, practicing out his faith. Please tell me one religion in the United States that is currently faces more blatant and open persecution than Catholicism. It's not Judaism, Islam, Hinduism, or cafeteria Christianity. Please name one. Yeah, I think, I think you're right. Look at these headlines. They say it all. As a Chiefs fan trying to raise a feminist son, I'm infuriated with Harrison Butker right now. Yeah, that's exactly right. Because this guy is leaning in to the actual pro, like the actual physical, inborn, genetic DNA programming that comes uh, with wanting to be a masculine provider and wanting to be a good man for your family. This is something that is good, something you should embrace. Kansas City, on the other hand, uh, the official Twitter account of T Kansas City decided to say where Harrison Butker lives, the city of Lee's Summit. So they doxed the kicker who won them the Super Bowl. Can you believe this? Yeah. So this is how this is how fragile these people are. This is how enraged these people are. By the way, uh, there's some other NFL guys that are standing up for him. Uh, Blake Ferguson. Uh, it looks like he plays for the Miami Dolphins. Forgive me, I'm, I'm not a huge NFL fan, to be quite honest with you. I do practice what I preach here. I just don't care about the NFL. But I do care about guys like this who are brave and standing up. Bring masculinity back. Bring dad back for their kids. Bring back standing up for what's right. Well done, uh, Harrison Butker. Yeah. Good job, dude. Fantastic. Everybody hates shut up and dribble when they hear something they don't agree with. And then they say the same thing. So people in the NFL are actually backing them up. And the fans are actually backing them up. So Harrison Butker's jersey is now the most sought-after jersey in all of the NFL. Harrison Butker's jersey uh, is apparently now completely sold out, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty amazing. Uh, Alex Jones and the Hodge twins jumping in to defend him. Speaking the truth in times of universal deceit is a revolutionary act. George Orwell, that's exactly right. My prediction is that Kansas City will be sued by Andrew Bailey to high heavens for doxing uh, Harrison Bucker, you can't discriminate, attack, or dox Christians for believing what they believe. And then, boom, I don't know. <laughs> My office is demanding accountability after Kansas City doxed uh, Harrison Bucker last night for expressing his religious beliefs. We will enforce the Missouri Human Rights Act to ensure Missourians are not targeted for free expression of religion. Stay tuned. Oh, yeah. Here you go. There it is. Uh, this jersey is no longer available. Out of stock. His jersey has sold out. Officially sold out. Pretty, pretty incredible. Pretty, pretty remarkable. Uh, also, in case you're, in case you like really deeply fear or worried about Harrison Butker, uh, Chiefs heiress Gracie Hunt defends Harrison Butker after a controversial commencement speech. It's not controversial. It shouldn't be controversial, but it's nice to see that there is some institutional support. We're going to start him. with you because uh, the couch would like to know, as America would, uh, the reaction from the Hunt family regarding the kicker, Harrison Butker. Well, I can only speak from my own experience, which is I've had the most incredible mom who had the ability to stay home and be with us as kids growing up. Um, and I understand that there are many women out there who can't make that decision, but for me in my life, I know it was really formative in shaping me and my siblings to be who we are. So you understood what he was talking about? For sure. Okay. And I really respect Harrison and his Christian faith and what he's accomplished on and off the field. Okay. Yeah, okay, so that <laughs> seems like that guy's going to be just fine. He's going to be selling out jerseys for a long, long time. Meanwhile, the people who are actually angry at him, uh, ex-Chiefs cheerleader slams Harrison Butker. Stay in your effing lane, says a cheerleader. Okay, got it. Thanks. There. Okay, there, there you go. Just coming... Coming in, coming in hard. Uh, I guess, I guess Harrison Butker destroyed forever because an ex cheerleader went on TikTok. Mm -hmm. Speaking of being destroyed forever, man, these guys who doxed him are gonna are gonna get it, dude. His own city attacking him as well. Uh, some pink-haired intern running social media for Kansas City doxing Butker, posting on X. Just a reminder that Harrison Butker lives in City of Lee's Summit. Okay, so you're just gonna tell people exactly where he lives. Sounds like a pretty small area too. Quickly deleted with the message, we apologize for our previous tweet. <laughs> we apologize. So this is a real brilliant person we're dealing with here. It was shared in error. Today, Missouri's Attorney General Andrew Bailey announced he's going after the culprit, saying he's going to enforce the Missouri Human Rights Act to ensure Missourians are not targeted for their free exercise of religion. Stay tuned. Good for him.
Good for them. Good for them. Time for Republicans to actually flex their muscle and to do something right and to say, yeah, you know what? We're not going to persecute Christians. Huh? Is that too much to ask? No, it is not. Harrison Butker did nothing wrong. We stand with Harrison Butker. Ladies and gentlemen, sear this into the back of your mind. This is all you need to know. Okay? Full Chad meme activated. It's your boy, Benny. Stay insanely based like Harrison Butker. <laughs>